I really appreciate you joining me again today. And I've got through a lot of news and there's more to come as well. And this story is about the Carl Woodall murder. And three men from Nottingham have been convicted. I covered this story last year on the 28th of June. And he was brutally beaten to death inside an industrial premise that he rented in Sandwell. He was 44 years old and he sustained catastrophic injuries during the early hour attack last year. Carl was known to his family and friends as Bert and he was a father of five and he'd spent the afternoon before his death with his ex-partner and three children. They had lunch before he returned to the static caravan that he lived in, in the rented unit on the Dalton Trading Estate in Rowley Regis. It was just after 1.16am on the 28th of June where CCTV cameras captured a Nissan Qashqai moving along Dalton Road shortly before it was seen parking up inside the estate. The car was driven by James McGee alongside his passengers Simeon Goldborn and Mark Campbell. Shortly after the trio were seen on CCTV entering Cole's unit on foot. Over the next 30 minutes they were seen going in and out and at around 1am Mark Campbell and Simeon Goldburn managed to get inside the perimeter fence. James McGee was on his own outside the fence and he's thought to have returned to the car. Just over two hours later, at quarter past four, Simeon Goldburn and Mark Campbell were seen emerging from the unit, one of them carrying a bag and another carrying a box. They ran back to James McGee, who was waiting for them in the car seconds later, and then they drove off. When police arrived, they discovered that Carl had been stripped naked and beaten to death, and they used at least three weapons in the sustained attack, and during the post-mortem, the pathologist said he had 140 separate injuries. One of them was a traumatic brain injury, and they said this contributed to his death, but due to the defensive nature of the injuries, it's believed that Carl was conscious during part of the attack. The police actually failed to find the motive as to why they did such a prolonged and vicious attack upon him and detectives started to piece together the evidence to try to get a conviction. It was revealed in court that a detailed sequence of events was shown and it included the connection between Cole Stepson and Mark Campbell as well as details of the forensic evidence that the police obtained. They said in court that Mark Campbell met Cole Stepson in prison in 2018 and Mark Campbell made contact with one of them in June 2021 when he spent some time staying in a hotel in the House Owen area. They said they know that he had visited the Dalton Trading Estate and had also eaten food from a takeaway that was on the estate and was a short distance away from where the murder took place. Mark Campbell left the West Midlands and returned to his home in Nottingham shortly after the attack on Cole. Whatever the dispute was between Cole's stepson and Mark Campbell, phone records showed that all contact was cut between them and they discovered that three of the defendants had previously been in contact. Police used AMPR cameras to trace the vehicle that James McGee was driving from Nottingham and in addition they recovered CCTV from the unit where the murder took place and they believed that Mark Campbell, Simeon Goldburn scaled the fence and James McGee waited in the car for over two hours. Carl was first attacked inside the caravan and then taken into the unit where he was further beaten until he died. He was tragically discovered the following day by his own son. Forensic analysis of the unit showed that an untidy search had been made and a bloodstained knife and machete were also found. CCTV also showed Mark Campbell returning to his girlfriend's flat in Nottingham at around 8.30pm on the 27th of June. He was driven by James McGee and he was seen with a large amount of cash when he was refuelled in his car and also buying food at a local garage. They said he took a blood-stained crowbar back home with him and this was later recovered from his garden. When the car was recovered, Carl's bloodstains were found inside the front passenger seat and also rear seat. Simeon Goldborn returned to work and CCTV showed that he dumped a bag inside a skip and following the search of the skip, clothing was recovered. He later accepted it was the items that he wore at the time of the offence. Several days later, all three of them were charged with murder and today on the 27th of May 2022, they were all found guilty of his murder. They will be sentenced on Friday and Detective Hannah Whitehouse from the Homicide Team said that my thoughts are with Carl's family for this horrific incident and I cannot imagine the pain that they must have gone through. We do not fully understand why they murdered him and this was senseless and a very high level of violence was used and it was deplorable. Carl was a quiet and well liked man, he had five children and three of them were very young. He did nothing to deserve this and I hope the outcome of this case is a comfort to his family. So definitely a very strange case. At the same time, with the connection of the younger stepson and one of the killers, there may have been some sort of financial 
debt that may have been owed because at the end of the day, nobody will come up and do this for absolutely no reason. But at the same time, there was no evidence to suggest that Carl was the cause of this, that he may have just been a victim of somebody else's actions. And these men will now have to pay the price for that for a very long time. I'll definitely keep you updated on the website scarcitystudios.com for the sentencing and any other information that emerges from court. Please don't forget to pay respects in the comments and follow me online as well at Scarcity Studios on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.